The family of a man who died in police custody is frustrated that more than a year later, no decision has been made on whether the officers involved will face criminal charges. News 13's Courtney Allen joins us live from her home this evening with more. Courtney. Dean 41-year-old Rodney Lynch was taken into custody by Gallup Police last year after his attorney said he called 911 because he was intoxicated. He ended up being transported to a detox center. That is where a scuffle ensued. And he ended up dead. A family tonight is seeking answers. It's heartbreaking. We want justice and we're not getting it. They're wondering, will the officers involved in the incident where Rodney Lynch was put in a chokehold by Gallup police, resulting in his death, be criminally charged? Rodney's wife, Rhonda Lynch. The hardest thing is that he's not here. You know, I, I, I go through a lot, you know, and our kids too. They do miss their dad all the time. Oh, I do miss my husband too. You can see in this lapel video from the incident in June 2019, there's a scuffle as Rodney arrives at a detail talk center. Police get him to the ground. The family's attorney, Billy Keeler, says one officer had Rodney in a chokehold for more than a minute. Keeler says the McKinley County DA's office reportedly turned the case over to the attorney general in late 2019, citing a conflict of interest. They had supposedly transferred it to the AG's office. When we checked with the AG's office back in January and February of this year, we were told that they had not received anything from the district attorney's office here. So we got a packet together that we had with all the information that my office had, got that over to the AG's office, and they've been looking at it since late February, early March. It wasn't until June that the AG's office officially announced it was investigating the case. Keeler says he hasn't heard anything in more than a month. The last time I spoke to them, they indicated that they were still looking into it. They needed to look, have their expert look into it. Keeler thinks it's an abnormally long time to decide whether to file criminal charges. Senator George Munoz, who represents McKinley County, says he's also contacted the AG's office about the case. All across the nation, and this was a police chokehold that people have died in, and here we are sitting on a case, and nobody seems to care. Rhonda says she, too, wants to know what's taking so long. Why is it taking forever? You know, that's all my family, my girls and I want to know. The AG's office tells News 13 that while Keeler gave them the information earlier in the year, the AG's office had to reconstruct the investigation because they did not receive the case file from the DA until June, which is when they announced their investigation that they are working aggressively to pursue justice. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you. Now, we reached out to the McKinley County DA's office for comment. All they would say is that they turned the case over in a, quote, timely fashion.